Well, I think the winter's uh, back has been broken, at least for now. We've got a zero degrees right now. It was plus eight yesterday, and um, the minus 47 with wind chill seems to be in, dis dis in the distant past. Of course, February hasn't arrived yet, and that's when we also get those kind of cold snaps, so I, I'm not going to count my blessings yet. Uh, the main thing is, it's a beautiful day. It's beautiful, clear skies. Uh, I'm wearing a vest instead of a, a jacket, for goodness sake, so it's mild, hawky weather by comparison. It's all a matter of perspectives, isn't it? Anyway, um, yeah, I should have probably ended my flight, my season, on his last flight. The young hybrid is really starting to come together. His pitches are good. Um, he bound to the hunt last time, which is a trait I'm kind of hoping he'll use because he's losing most of the ones he hits down. He loves to hit game down, which I love to see personally, but it's obviously not as successful as a bind. In so many partridge he's lost now because of the fact he hits them into deep snow and uh, and the, the partridge just burrow and go. Just gonna check this dig. No one's home. Um, lots of footprints, lots of sign of not just partridge, but all animals right now. Deer tracks, um, of course, fox and coyotes going into, I can see off the side of the road, digs that have had visitors during the night, probably of a fox or a coyote trying to, to make a meal. But I'm hoping I'm going to find a covey uh, not too far. I'm on the eastern edge of my permissions and I'm going to start heading south. But um, I'd like to get a flight with him. He's right on the money. He's 800 grams. Um, so I've been flying him as high as 820, 822. But uh, I think 800 is going to be good, particularly for this weather because it's gone a little mild, like I said. So hopefully we'll have some uh, success today. cracking point he's gone about 60 70 yards and he's on point he's holding there the falcons up in the air no he's still he's still going a bit he's still walking a bit but uh, I trust he's got them um, very classy point falcons up in the air hopefully following my truck um, and Milo's right there I'm gonna go just a little bit more I don't know how far the Huns are, but I'm guessing they're not too far now. Yeah, he's pretty tight. I'm going to stop the truck here and get out. Maybe turn the truck off, that will help. Uh, it's a good wind. And of course find the Falcon. As always, it's a beautiful setup. I'll be damned if I can see my falcon. It's 
it's hard to believe that you can lose a black falcon. Oh, there he is. He's coming over. He's up good. He's coming up, coming up. I'm walking with the dog. Uh, the falcon's downwind, so I don't want to flush him too soon. But he's up there. Okay. Let's see what transpires. I think I see a dig. Milo must have picked this up at least 80 yards away. I just hope they're home. Good boy, Milo. Good boy. Steady. Steady. Falcons above. Let's give it a go. Oh, I hope they're home. Oh, there they go. Oof, look at this. Look at this little shit. Good job, Milo. Good job. Man, that falcon knows. As I'm walking in, I think he he's figuring it out and coming down. Uh, I gotta watch that. It's very jewel like I don't run deliberately because when you start running, the falcon, you know, is anticipating the flush. But I think he's figured out where the dog is and he's joined one and one together and got two that he knows there's gonna be a flush. Anyway, that was a fantastic point by Milo in the middle of this field. Raven's coming over now to investigate. Good job, Milo, good job. Good job, good boy. Yes, good boy, good boy. It's a good boy. Okay, I'm gonna drive over. Heading home, having caught his 10th hunt, it was a, a flight of mixed feelings to be honest. Um, Milo did outstanding, as always. Um, I hardly had to work for the, this flight today, and that's because Milo did most of the heavy lifting. He picked up that point from over 80 meters away, lined up on it and stopped uh, under 20 meters from the hunts. They still sat tight in the middle of the field. I'd never have found those if it wasn't for Milo. Um, Anyway, the Falcon, I put him up a few hundred yards behind and uh, drove towards Milo, came to the right side of him, got out. The Falcon was over four, well, about 400 feet, which wasn't brilliant, but I, I accept it. Um, shame on me, I know. But anyway, um, I walked in and then the Huns flashed beautifully and the Falcon was down in no time, which tells me the falcon was coming down before I walked, I flushed and I've seen it once or twice in the past and I've stopped running in on the flush for that very reason it's a bit like a jerkin and you may have remembered I've mentioned before out of my two hybrids this this younger one the newer one reminds me more of a jerk than it does a hybrid um, the other one is a different bird and probably more typical of a jerk peregrine or almost a peregrine but this bird's a bit like a jerkin. He's smart, he's thinking it through. And I think he sees me go to the dog and that's a cue. And I got the impression the bird was coming down sooner than when the birds flushed. So as a result, the hunt dumped right in front of me. He pitched up, spun round, the hunt took off. He chased it off to cover and caught it, which is not how I wanted it to end. And I don't want to teach any bad habits. I was gonna quit two days ago when he had his last flight and killed a hunt in spectacular, spectacular flight. What a roller coaster of emotions. But I thought, well, you know what? It's zero degrees now. Why do I want to quit? Um, beautiful weather. I've uh, got two more months of the season. So I might just press on a little longer. As long as I can access the fields, which was looking a bit iffy at times, and still is in certain fields, um, I think I'm gonna press on a little more just because, why not? I mean, I'm retired, right? So the bird's done what I achieved to do, set out to do, which was set the foundations. He's made now 10 kills. He's performing fairly well, and I just gotta work on the weight a little bit. 
I think this this temperature shift of whatever it was 12 to 20 degrees overnight I need to get his weight back down I've got away with a lot at 822 at minus 30 but when it gets to zero I think he needs to be closer down to 780 790 like I had him in the late fall anyway tomorrow I won't fly him I've cropped him up and I will fly him again and probably the day after we shall see